Sing praises to your name. Oh, God, praises to your name. Oh, God, for your name is great and greatly to be
Lord, you are good and your mercy and your right forever. Lord, you are good, good, say.
had the thought of you. The darkness gives way to the light for you. The bright light you paid gave us life brand new. Hosanna forever, we watch you. Hosanna forever, we watch you. The angels bow down, had the thought of you. The darkness gives way to the light for you. The bright light you paid gives us life brand new. Son of God is lifted up. 
in his presence. Woo! Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. For the brevity of time, I just have my tasks to complete now. We have pastors, apostles, bishops, sons of the prophet, and you. <laughs> Tell yourself I am special. I just want to run through some of the names of the ministers of God who have come to grace this meeting. Please, if you hear your name, just stand on your feet and wave to the people of God. Hallelujah. We have Pastor Matthew Abiola, Winners Chapel National Pastor. We have Pastor Jed Johnston from Florida. We have Pastor George and Pastor Mrs. Amade, Good News Bible Church. We have Evangelist Aboyowa Omo Adioye, World Harvest Evangelistic Ministry. We have Pastor Yinka and Eunice Akire Loye. Hallelujah. God bless you. Hallelujah. We have Pastor Bladi Ogabo John, Gateway of Hope Global Ministry. Please give the, give the Lord a big clap offering. We have Apost Apostle Leslie Bibi. Rutherford from River Reviver Fire World Mission Agency. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. We <laughs> hallelujah. We we have Pastor Moses Omovie from Faith Miracle Center. Hallelujah. We have Pastor Joshua and Vivian Adesayan from Victory Bible Church. We have Pastor Valentine Tanya from Dominion Prayer House International Sweden. We have Pastor Eberi and Excel Okogu from Glory Tabernacle International Church Sweden. We have Pastor Mike and Nela Boatek from Harvest Life Church. We have Pastor Godwin Osioboge, Power Power Christian Center. We have Evangelist Augustine and Emanuela Agla from the World of Evangelist Ministry. We have Pastor Godfrey Afrifa from Trinity Bible. Are you tired of clapping? <laughs> Hallelujah. We have Pastor Daniel and Uche Ogbefi from El Gebor Ministries. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please, if you don't hear your name, we're going to recognize small people as the service goes on. Uh, please, I want you to turn to the, to the person on your right to say, you are privileged to sit by my side tonight. Please tell the person your name. I am a child of God seated above principalities and powers. Hallelujah. I said, Hallelujah. Somebody who is who is happy to be here tonight, shout a big and hallelujah. I, I said somebody who is here tonight, shout a big and hallelujah. If you know your miracle is happening tonight, not tomorrow, tonight, shout a big and hallelujah. Amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. If you have a testimony, please do see somebody. Somebody is there to harvest your testimony on my left and on your right. Make sure that you go and give that testimony uh, uh, because very soon we shall be taking your testimony. How many of you want to pray for the UK this evening? How many of you know this is Wembley? Come on, tell somebody welcome to Wembley. This is the heart of United Kingdom. And God wants to take back United Kingdom. That's why God has sent you here. And that's why God has sent his servant, the apostle, all the way from Nigeria for this purpose. There shall be restoration. There shall be revival. Whether the devil likes it or not, we are taking back this land. Whether the devil likes it or not, fire is coming back to UK. Jump on your feet as we are going to pray. Listen, listen, listen to this. 
when the children of Israel were about to enter into the promised land, Moses sent spies. And when they came back, 10 of them said, we are not able, we can't do it. We saw the giants. We saw the son of the Anakims. They are bigger than us, stronger than us, wiser than us. But the others came back and said, we are well, we are well able. And that is why we are here. We are well able. There shall be restoration. Heavenly Father, we need your fire back in UK. We need the mantle of John Wesley Smith Wigglesworth. We want it back in United Kingdom. Open your mouth and begin to release the power of God upon this nation right now. Begin to pray for revival. Begin to pray for restoration. Begin to ask God to do a new thing. In the United Kingdom, Father, let there be restoration. Lord, let there be restoration. Lord, let there be restoration. Iga karaba shaka kalabaza. Riblo lobo sheke telebosa. Iblende lebo sheka namaseya. Lord, we want to see your power back. We want to see restoration. In the churches, on the streets, in the workplaces, in the UK, all over the United Kingdom. Lord, let there be restoration of your glory. Let there be restoration of your power. Let there be restoration of the anointing. Let there be restoration of the mantle. we give you praise. We magnify you. We bless your name. Rikataya Bosaya. Rasakataya. Rikotolo Bosaya. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Psalm chapter 11, verse 3. It says, if the foundation be destroyed, what can the righteous do? Child of God, every foundation of witchcraft in this land, we want it to catch fire after this program. Immediately we finish this program, let there be an explosive move of God in the land. It is called glory conference. Lord, let your glory descend. Amen. In a touchable, feelable, fireable manner. Amen. That everybody will know that something happened in UK. Amen. Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. Every foundation. Every foundation. Of witchcraft. Of witchcraft. Every foundation. Every foundation. Of satanism. Of satanism. Of Britain in UK. Catch fire. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Rahata shaka namaseya. Rahata shaka talamaseya. Rahata yaba shekeda. We consume them right now. We consume them right now. Let their foundation be uprooted. Let their foundation be uprooted. Let their foundation be destroyed. Let their foundation be destroyed. Let the power of darkness. Let the power of satanism be shattered and broken from the land, O Lord. Raseke toloboza. Rakataya baseya. Ribretala maseya. Rakata. Rakataya <laughs> 
Ribrutola Basha, Risakaya Basha, Rasakataya Se, Ribrete Lebosa, Masopete Yaboa, Rakanamasea. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Final prayer. It says, Arise and shine, for your light has come. Yes. And the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. Amen. Oh Lord, at the end of this meeting, every church in UK will feel the tangible glory of God. Amen. Let fire move from here into every church. Let the churches get filled. Amen. Let revival come Amen. on the pastors, on the bishops, on the apostles. Are you ready to pray that prayer? Yes. Say, oh Lord. Let your fire, your revival fire, fall on the land. Open your mouth and pray that prayer right now. Mahakaya Bashandala Basega. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Mahakaya Bashandala Basega. Yes, Kaya Bashandala Basega. Kaya Bashandala Basega. Kaya Bashandala Basega. Kaya Bashandala Basega. Restore your church. Revive your church. Revive your church. Revive your church. Revive your church. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Lord, for you have answered our prayer. Put your hands together for Jesus, somebody. Hallelujah. I said, Hallelujah. Somebody shout, Glory. We are still praying, we are still praying, we are still praying. Acts chapter 2 verse 1, the Bible says, And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place, and suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of, as of a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared unto them clothing tongues as of fire. And the Bible says, And it sat upon each of them. Each of them, each of them became glory carriers. We're going to pray tonight that as we leave this glory conference today, today, something must sit on us. We Amen. must become glory carriers. Amen. Something must emerge from us. Can we lift Amen. up our voices and say, Father, Father today, today. Anoint me, anoint me afresh, afresh, afresh with your glory. With with your your glory. glory. May, I become, May I become a glory carrier. A glory. Lift up your voices and begin to pray. Sale koto prego tamanta liadosa. Reko to bela katem preto kotis katabelas. A preto koto le preto kotales. A prendos kalida prato kete. Zele de ke prede kato le prada katalia. Ale koto 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 kate para kate kada kadas. Ale donto le do prete katolia. Are you playing? Are you praying? Are you praying? La capone de sosele catalas. Legadagadagadagadas. Ata preto koto. As soon as Zion traveled, she broke forth. She brought forth as soon as she traveled. There is a glory that is on the inside of you that must come out after this conference. There is a glory that is inside the church that must emerge after this conference. Legadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadag
Let my glory be seen. Amen. Let the Bible says the glory of Lebanon shall be given unto it. Amen. There is a glory for you. There is a glory for the United Amen. Kingdom. We are going to make demands on that glory. Can you lift up your voices and begin to make demands? Amen. My glory in this conference must be given to me. My glory in this conference must be given to me. The Bible says they shall see it. They shall see it. Because glory is evident. Glory can be seen. Lena rabando ke dele de atala alega da gabada gades likoto brodo de tola eleto shido pando leto prate da tela la ya 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 can we put our hands together for Jesus as we welcome the praise team to shift us higher? Somebody, your hands together for Jesus. Hallelujah. With your hands to Jesus. I want just to hands to Jesus and give him all the glory. Jesus, we worship you. Thank you, Abba Father. Creator of the universe, what can you do? What can you do, Jesus? Creator of the universe, what can you do? What can you do? The name above every other name. What can you take? What can you take? You are able, you are able, you are able, you are able. Great and mighty God. You are able. Your mercy is forever.
wanna thank you. How can I ever repay you? Jesus is taking away the pain for me. And you're giving me the victory. Yeah. Everywhere I go, they will follow me. Anything I do, blessings follow me. Oh. Kings are coming to my rising. Oh. I'm going higher by the grace of God. Oh, oh you're not my I go 
see the way you care for me. You carry my matter for your head, oh. Like a little, little baby. Like a little, little baby. Hey! You know they carry me, they play. Hey! Ah! 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 
it to Jesus. Amen. Please be seated in heavenly places. Tonight, the Bible says this beginning of miracles, Jesus did in Cana of Galilee and manifested for his glory and his disciples believed on him. We have people who have encountered the miracles of the glory and they are here to share their testimony with us tonight. We have so many testimonies, but for the brevity of time, we're going to take only three. If you hear your name, please quickly join me on the stage. Amara Maduke. Put your hands together as Sister Amara Maduke comes real quick to the stage. We have Shinasa Fabian. Please join me quickly on the stage. And Victoria Jasper. Again, Amara Madukwe, Chinasa Fabian, and Victoria Jasper. The faster you clap, the quicker they get to the stage. Give the Lord a clap, a shout, a shout, a shout. Hallelujah. Come on, Sister Amara. Please tell the people your name and what the Lord did. Praise the Lord, church. My name is Amara Madweke. I'm here to thank God for his faithfulness upon my life. Um, there are lots of things God has done for me, but I'm just going to pick two because of time. So during the Glory Conference last year, 2023 in Leeds, I was there with um, two major prayer points, and um, one of which was for my friend. She's waited on God for three years for the fruit of the womb since after marriage. She's had lots of procedures and one of them almost cost her her life. But I brought it to the altar of God in the TGC 2023. And um, I told God I wanted to share, to testify in TGC 2024 about her pregnancy. And to the glory of God in a few weeks, she'll be having her baby, praise the Lord. <laughs> and um, secondly, um, the other prayer point I had um, was about marital settlement. And um, here I am today, evidence to say the end of discussion. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Sister Chinasa. Praise the Lord, church. My name is Sister Chinasa Fabian Nijeru. I am here to return glory to Jehovah Yukweme. During the Glory Conference at least 2023, I came to that conference with an excruciating pain on my right knee. Um, before then, I had had this pain on my knee since 2022. It stopped me from living a normal life. I couldn't just do anything but breathe without pain. And it got, to, it got so bad that paracetamol wasn't working. I was placed on cocodamol for a very long time. So after a scan, I was scheduled for a surgery because they found out that I had a damaged um, cartilage. So I asked the doctor if that was the last solution. She was convinced that the only remedy for me to live a normal life was for me to have a new surgery. So during the lead conference, I came to that conference and I told God that I am not living here the way I came. And um, for my service in your house, I need to be normal. I didn't need that pain because it was inhibiting me from serving you actively. And um, a word of knowledge came. Daddy said that there was someone here with a knee pain that you couldn't bend, you couldn't stoop, do it. You could see that it has gone. I felt a surge within me. And immediately I knelt down, I stooped. I realized that I wasn't, normally if I move, I would be hearing the crinkling sound. There was no sound, there was no pain. I came out and he laid his hand on me and prayed for me. And I went home. Um, around November, December, the devil struck, the pain came a little. But there was a lady that gave a testimony um, about a, um, a lump she had on her breast. When she had her encounter, she gone home, the, the lump was there. Sorry, sir. So I keep, she said that, daddy said that some testimonies, some testimonies died instantly. Some could take phrases. So I keyed into what, she, what happened to her. I said that my, my face is gradually coming to an end. December 2023, NHS called me because I was on a waiting list for a new surgery. They called me, they said they've reviewed their list and I've been brought up so I should come for the surgery. 
I just laughed. When I got there, they had to do a new scan to be sure of what they were going to do. To the glory of God, the new scan confirmed my knee has aligned. I didn't need to have the surgery. The surgery has been canceled. And I'm here to return all the glory to the God of this commission and for what he has done in my life. I can never take it for granted. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Knee surgery cancel through encounter with the mantle of God upon the life of our father. Victoria Jasper. Praise the Lord, church. I'm here to return all the testimony to the glory of God. 2017, my life was at a standstill. Everything was as if nothing was going on. And I spoke with my pastor back in Nigeria, and he told me, come back home. There's somewhere you need to be. And I came back, and he told me, straight to Abuja. And the way God made it, I'm not even a member of Dunamis. I've never seen him or heard about Dunamis ministry anywhere. But one text message I sent, I came down to Abuja. I was able to meet God's servant. And then before I could even say anything, he told me why I was here. I was even shocked, so there was nothing to say. And then he prayed. And I also had the opportunity of meeting God's handmaiden. And they both prayed for me. And that day she asked me, what do you want? I felt, I said nothing because I felt Papa has addressed the whole issue. And then when I came back, my pastor told me, he said, you need to equip yourself. By the time I returned back to my base, people that were supposed to come and pick me from the airport, they were nowhere to be found. I had to find my way back. And I kept on calling everybody, where are you? Ola, ola, fire was everywhere. Nobody. And then somebody, and there, you know, just a small conversation, and they said, you think that one way you marry in a husband? Go born, make me see you. To the glory of God. When I came back, not up to two months, I took in, and I sent a text message to Mama. She said, save the livery. Here is my evidence. Summary, she was, she was challenged. They said she couldn't get married. She got married. They said she couldn't have a baby, but she had an encounter with God's servant. And when she returned back to the UK, she conceived and baby and the child is the evidence. She came on stage to give God the glory. Put your hands together for Jesus. Tonight, the same mantle is present and God is here to encounter you. Your testimony shall be the next. Hallelujah. Somebody give God the praise. You are excited to be in Glory Conference 2024. Give the Lord a big praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In 2 Chronicles chapter 5 and verse 13 and 14, paraphrase, as the singer sang with one voice, the Bible said the priest could no longer minister because the cloud had filled the house. Tonight, there are special singers and ministers that shall be lifting up their voice to celebrate the faithfulness of God. And as we key to it, the glory of God will invade our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. To come forward, I will be coming forward in this manner. We have the Christian Mission Maranatha Rona Church. Give God the praise if you are excited. And after that, Minister GUC will be coming up. Give God the praise, people. The Christian Mission Maranatha. Put your hands together for Jesus. Hallelujah. I learned there are some technical issues they are trying to sort out for them behind the scene. So if Minister GUC is ready, um, can we put our hands? No, no. All right, okay. Hold on, they will sort it out for them and they will come out in that order. Give God the praise, people. Go ahead. Go You are always there to help 
You are always there to help me Even when no one else was there You are always there for me Even when I can't feel you Even when I cannot trace you I still have faith in your word That you are always there for me
Is that how you celebrate Jesus? Is that how you celebrate the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords? The I am that I am, the bright and morning star. Hallelujah. It's such an honor to be here. Can we celebrate our father and mother in the house? Is that how you celebrate them? <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, sir, for this privilege. Wherever you are, just lift up your hands and begin to bless Jesus. Just begin to bless him. Just bless him wherever you are. Wherever you are, just bless the name of the Lord by lifting up your hands and worshiping.
Yes, 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 yes. Yes, make it louder, make it louder. Let them know you are in Wembley. Let them know you came to see Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, oh, oh. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, my God. When you are here. Tasina, <laughs> <laughs> We know you are here. Yes. We know you have come. Oh, when you are here, when you are here, when you are here, when you are here. 
When you are there, when you are here, when you are here, hey, when you are here, God is about to touch somebody's life tonight. When you are here, the presence of God here yeah. hey, hey, is about hey, to hey. liberate somebody tonight. The power of God is about to loosen some yokes. God is about to The power of God is everywhere. It's everywhere. Yes, it's everywhere. It's everywhere. Lift up your hands and say, Father, when you are here, tonight, your presence Lord, you are here. shall bring me Lord, you an are encounter here. of a Lord, life you are here. Lord, 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 you are here. you are here. Lord, thank you. When the glory falls, limitations cannot stand. When the glory falls, afflictions cannot remain. We are racing for time tonight. In the next few minutes, God's servant will be coming up. I want you to be desperate. It's tonight, one morning. I want you to tell God tonight, Father, I want to receive an encounter, an encounter tonight that will make my life to count. Lift up your voice and pray that for one second. An encounter tonight that will make my life count. In the name of Jesus, Sister Deborah will minister and then God's servant will come up. I want you to be in absolute expectation. I'm supposed to do recognitions and all that, but we'll recognize all of us tomorrow. Let's remain in this atmosphere of God's divine presence tonight. Lord, I'm hungry for revival, for your outpouring, for fresh fire. Lord, I'm hungry for revival, for your outpouring. It's burning. The oil is dropping. The hand of God is here. Matters are falling. Fresh fire is burning. The oil is dropping. The hand of God is here. Fresh fire is burning. They all is dropping. The hand of God is here. Matters are falling. Fresh fire is burning. They all. Hey, is hey, 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 hey. The hand of God, the hand of God is here. Be up standing everywhere you are, hands lifted, and get ready for the mountains. See, mountains are falling, mountains are falling, fresh fire is burning. The hand of God is here. See, mountains are falling, mountains are falling. Sing, man, to 
are falling. In the name of Jesus, lift up your hands everywhere you are. Lift your hands high. You can feel that power, that presence. High up. Lift your hands high.
Would you lift your hands everywhere you are? I feel fire. The fire of his glory. Hey! 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 Your name is holy. Oh, 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 your name is holy. Your name is holy, Lord. Oh, oh your name is holy. Your name is holy. Lord. Lift those hands high as far as you can. Glory everywhere.
wait on you. Hey, litesi peda ya dagala ya hasadaya. Lord, we wait on you. Lord, we wait on you for fire. Lift up your hands. Lift your hands everywhere, everywhere. Oh, shut up. In the name of Jesus, let the heart high. He says that no flesh shall glory in his presence. Maintain quietness if you can. Hands lifted. Can you feel that fire? If the heart high. Whisper that name, Jesus. It is written in that day, the body shall be lifted from off your shoulder, and the yoke from off your neck, and the yoke shall be destroyed. That's right. Something is breaking forth here. Something is breaking here. A yoke is being dismantled. A demonic agenda is being reversed. There's a release of fire, a release of power, a release of glory. Lift your two hands. Quiet, be up, standing, hold your hands together. Lift your two hands. Hold your hands together. Lift up your hands. Father, let the fire fall there. One, two, three. Power! Take the torch of God's power. Lite que peperete se te lida. I catasa dila para dayadas. I que pete de sita la yadara. I ta si calita. Lift your hands high and receive the invasion of God's glory on your life right now. With the invasion of God's glory, mountains are going to melt. With the invasion of God's glory, the reproach will dry. With the invasion of God's glory, systems that were not working will begin to work. Yeah, 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 yeah. Somebody's receiving fresh fire for ministry, fresh fire for impact. Fresh fire, that's right. Fresh fire to fulfill destiny. Man, I shana ya la 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 la. Ita sete lite frete zira. Ika dayara sete le yara. Ita satana kalana ya dahoratas. Ita sana ya tana ya. Lift your hands everywhere you are. Lift your hands everywhere you are. When I say in the name of Jesus, you place your hand on your head. When I say in the name of Jesus, one, two, three, you place your hands on your head. And, sing and, and shout glory at the top of your voice. Father, let the glory flow. Let the glory flow. Let that glory flow. Are you ready for the flow of glory? In the name of Jesus, one, two, and three, glory! glory! Yes, receive. Receive it. 
I see the glory on you. The glory on you. That's right, something is on him. This man, bring him. I see the glory of him. Come, come, come. And this woman, right here. One next to you, that's right. Something is on you. Come, man. Come. Are you husband and wife? Come. Fire, fire, fire. Receive. An invasion of the glory. Lift your hands up to this glory. Fire is flowing. Hold it. Happy, happy, happy rider. Happy rider. Fire of the Holy Ghost. It's the fire, the fire of the spirit is on her. He cut Lift your hands high. Something is dropping. Something is dropping. Something is dropping. Just Father, let it glory. 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 That's right. That's right. Receive the touch of his fire. He does something is on him. Something is on him. Something is on him. Something, something, something. Let the seed. Let the seed. Let the seed. Oh, the serita. He does something. La parata sata yalala. Lift your hands everywhere. You came here so hungry. And here it is. For fresh. Fire. Hey, 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 hey. Lift your hands, people. He does a tedia. He does a tedia. He does a tedia. Lata Sana Gayata Sida. Lata Sida Yara. Glory. Fresh fire, fresh fire. Lift your hands and receive. Hey, my Jesus. That's right. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. Fresh. That's right. Fresh fire. 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 Father, lift your hands and give him the praise. 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 I receive fresh fire. Fresh praise. Fresh oil. Glory. Glory. Freshness of oil, freshness of glory. Lift your hands one more time. One more time, all the way far back there. Something is coming upon you.
That's right. Lift your hands. Maintain quietness as you can. Whisper that name. Jesus again. Jesus. Again. Jesus. Again. 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 Glory. Power. Hey, hey, hey. He can take a better let us tell you. He can satan. He can a little bit. He can set a little bit. He can receive the visitation of his glory tonight. That's right, that's right, that's right. That's right. Something happened just there, right there. <laughs> In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Father, we give you the praise. And we give you the honor. Lift your hands higher. Because of registration and starting a bit late today. Trust God for so much tomorrow. But lift your hands. Somebody with a right shoulder affliction. Affecting the lifting of the hands around with the neck pain and affliction on that neck is healed just now. If you are that, that's right. If you are that person, move that hand and move and check that neck. The pain is gone. And if you came here with any other form of affliction, paralyzed by stroke or the hand is not moving, please, they can go back to their seat now. God bless you. God bless you. The, 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 the neck is not, the hand is not moving and the neck is not, is, is, is not moving freely. Check yourself, confirm your healing and step forward here very quickly. Very, very quickly. Very quickly. People, someone came with lower back condition, upper back condition, lower back condition and also a waist condition. The power of God healed you just now and that affliction is disappeared. Somebody with a left eye affliction, whether it's not seen clearly or it's allergy or something with the left eye, God healed you just now. Someone came with an ulcer condition on the upper chest right there. The pain you came with is gone just now. Somebody's right ear is opened. That wasn't hearing is open. Close the left ear, confirm your healing and let us know. Give the Lord a big clap of hand and a shout of praise. Somebody with a lump in your body, a growth has just melted and disappeared. Give the Lord a praise. Everyone in a condition like that, step forward and let's see what happened to you. Celebrations as they step forward. Take your seat. Mighty, mighty, mighty God, the great I am. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are the mighty, 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 mighty God, the great I am. Hallelujah. And you are the mighty God. You are the mighty God. Hallelujah. We can speak from the okay. 
Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Give the Lord a big clap and a loud shout of praise. Quickly, let's see what happened, and then we'll proceed to the next level. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Yes, Pastor um, Abisola for two weeks shouldn't. Couldn't lift up her right shoulder up. She had pain. She came with the pain. At the declaration tonight, the pain just disappeared now. You are free. Come. Congratulations. Lift your hands. Father, thank you for abuse, Allah. Healed in Jesus' name. Give the Lord the praise. Sir, Sister Anne, for two years I've had this chest affliction that you mentioned. While there is a breast lump that is melting and a pain that is melting. And an affliction, a fearing cancer, I curse it to dry up right now in the name of Jesus. Check it right now. You can't feel the pain, you can't feel the growth or the funny sensation. Quickly step to the front and let's see what happened. You can't feel the pain, you can't feel the lump, you can't feel the funny sensation. Quickly step forward here. Yes. Yes, sir. Chest affliction that you mentioned yes. for two years. She came in here in that pain, but at the instance of the word, the pain took off. She, she was booked to have ECG next week. Wow. Give the Lord a big clap and a shout of praise. Lift up your hands. Father, in the name of Jesus, over, be healed and behold in Jesus' precious name. Yes, Sir, go ahead. Locked right shoulder. Locked right shoulder with excruciating pains from the neck down. She couldn't lift the hand beyond the elbow level. But right now, the hand is healed. Pain is gone. She can lift it. Give the Lord a big clap and a loud shout of praise. Everything locked in your body, I declare, unlocked now in the name of Jesus. I see some coming out like for testimonies. Please find out from them all the way from the back. Ensure they are interviewed before. No, right in the front here first before they go up there. Yes, please. Yes, go ahead. S Sister Becky came with pain from the waist all the way to the back and up to the neck. At the instance of the ministration, the pain took off. She's it is off. over forever in the name of Jesus. Power of the Holy Ghost, be free completely in Jesus' name. Sir, Sister Faith came here. Come, 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 sir. Come back. She came to this program this evening with a swollen neck, pains on the neck and on the right shoulder. As soon as you mentioned that word, pain gone, she could lift that. Give the Lord a big clap and a shout of praise. Lift your hands in the name of Jesus upon Mount Zion. Power of the Holy Ghost, there is deliverance and holiness, and the sons of Jacob possess their Same possession. With Brother Moses, neck pain that is gone completely what gone happened? right now. As soon as you started praying, it was a very tight pain in my neck, and the moment you said it, it's like it was stripped from my body immediately. Give the Lord a big clap. Something shall be stripped from your body today in the name of Jesus. So he Power of the Holy Ghost. He came all the way from the United States with his family for, for this For week. this conference, all the way from the U.S. Moses, you are returning back with massive testimonies. Complete and around. Is this, can his wife join him all the way from the U.S.? Yes, come. Give the Lord a praise. Give the Lord a praise. Give the Lord a praise. Upon Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance and holiness. And the sons of Jacob shall possess their possession. In the name of Jesus, I declare everywhere you have come from, I pronounce, I announce your testimonies shall go with you from where you came in the name of Jesus. Yes, what happened? Sister Faith came with the lump on the left, on the left shoulder tonight. At the declaration of the word, she can't find the pain lump, the lump anymore. On the left shoulder. For how long? That was for some days. I, that was for some days, sir. I don't know where it came from, to be honest. It, it was very painful. But when you mentioned the case, to my greatest surprise, I thought, how did you know about my case? And all of a sudden, the pain just started reducing. Right there. Pain. Yeah, just under here. Incredible. That is in between the, the breast yeah. and, the, and, the, and, the, and the arm here. Yeah. And it's gone. Give the Lord a big clap and a shout of praise. In the name of Jesus, every mountain in your life, I declare it is over now. In the name of Jesus.
Grace. The parents fell Solidarity. under the unction, but the baby fell under association. <laughs> Give the Lord the praise. Hallelujah. This is a Mecca, sir. For one year, he couldn't lift his two hands. But tonight, the moment the word came, he lifted both, both hands. For one year. For one year. Incredible. Lift it. Is someone sitting and looking like that? Give the Lord a big clap and a shout of praise. What you couldn't do before you came here, after tonight, you shall be able to do them. Shout, yeah! Power of the Holy Ghost. Be free in the name of Jesus. Yes. Titilayo came with shoulder pain for many months and neck pain. At the instance of that declaration, the pain is gone. It's now whole. Or you can move it right there. Give the Lord a praise. Give him the praise. Give him the praise. Lift your hands, Father, in the name of Jesus. Power of the Holy Ghost. Be free in the name of Jesus. Somebody shout glory. Glory. Yes. Sister, Sister Ivy, the same condition, shoulder pain all the way to the neck. At the instance of that word, the pain took off. Get your hands. One word, so many healings. In the name of Jesus, power of the Holy Ghost, be free in Jesus' precious name. Sister KB, for 30 years, 30 years, she couldn't bend her neck. It's always been. Yeah. For was, 30 years. It was so painful just now, before you said the word, and as soon as she spoke, the pain just disappeared. For 30 years. Yes, Move sir. it. Wow. Can you give the king the praise, somebody? In the name of Jesus, power of the Holy Ghost, be free in Jesus' name. Is that a miracle here? Yes. She came in, multiple afflictions, conditions. She said all the pains are gone. But beyond that, God opened her eyes wow. and she saw a woman. The woman was carrying a clay pot and was now begging her, leave me, please. Don't like set me on fire or don't burn me or whatever. Just please, just let me go. And she said, I'm not letting you go. You must experience the judgment that is for you. And <laughs> she was turning around. Yes. Every demonic personality that came around with you, every force from hell that is responsible for your challenges, today I declare they are set on fire. Amen. Because upon Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance. Let me tell you, you cannot return back the same way you came. You can't go back to Manchester. You can't go back to Leeds. You can't go back to Canada. You can't go back to America. The same way you came. Somebody give the Lord a turnaround shout of hallelujah. Hey! hey! A change of story. Give the Lord a praise. What's happening? Yeah, Daddy, she yeah. came on account of a, a diagnosed ovarian cyst with excruciating pain. And now she's here. At, at, yes, I just Give the Lord a big clap and a shout of praise. Power. Jesus' name. Yeah. Gastritis of 20 years. Gastritis for 20 years. Couldn't sing, couldn't talk, couldn't pray comfortably. Pain excruciating disappeared this evening. Give the Lord a praise. Lift your hands. It's over. Power of the Holy Ghost. Talk, Be free. You talked Jesus. about breast afflictions. Go forward, sister. All right. <laughs> yes, tell me. You talked about breast afflictions. Yes. Excruciating pain in that left breast. For how said, long? Three months. Wow. And it just disappeared. Totally. Totally. Every missile from hell fired in your body, in your system. Every arrow of sickness, affliction, insanity. I take authority over that arrow. Return back to hell. Be free in the name of Jesus. Somebody shout glory. Yes, tell me. Yes, um, Mariam. I was attacked in the dream. I was some, like somebody used 
their tooth. They beat me on the breast. I found two. Somebody marks. used their yeah, tooth to up. bite you on the breast, yes. and you found two marks yes. on the breast when you woke up. Yes. So the the, the pain, the thing formed a lump. Wow. I had an operation. After the operation, it started forming a big keloid. I had two, I had four steroid injection on oh. it. So I've been having excruciating pain. Oh. I actually came with it. So when you said there's a lump, I kept on pressing them. I can't touch it. It's like touching an open wound. Oh, no. So now I'm touching them. And it's gone. I can't feel it. Is somebody yeah. sitting and looking Woo! like that? When I don't know what to do. When I don't know what to do. And I'll come to you. Somebody sing. For which word to go. You never. You never fail. When I don't. And I don't know what to do. And I look up. And I look up to you. For which way to go? For which way to go? You never, you, you are the God. Fail. You are the God. I God who can never. You don't know what it means to fail. Everything, Everything on the earth may fail. But you can. But you can never ever fail. You are the God. You are the God who can never fail. She's still looking for it. Everything on the earth may fail. God, you can never ever fail. Everybody sing, you are the God who can never fail. You don't know what it means to fail. Everything, everything on the earth may fail, but you can, but you can never ever fail. You are the God who can never fail. You don't know what it means to fail. Everything on the earth may fail, but you can never ever I use her as a point of contact to pray for you. Every evil arrow, witchcraft arrow, attack from hell, targeted against your life, I declare that arrow retrieved and refired back to hell. In the name of Jesus. Take one or two more. And then I just say a word and then we are true for tonight. This testimony, testimony is so cute. She came out all by herself. Akachuku. Came out all by herself. She said she couldn't hear with her right ear. Wow. But that now the ear is totally open. And what was the other thing? Your leg, right? Your neck, yes. Incredible. When you talk about the neck healing, the neck was also healed. So we tested her. her ear is open. What did you say again? Um, my neck was... My neck used to be... Where, where is the mother of the baby? With the open ear. Mother or father who, who came with her. You know, babies, li little children, may they never testify against you. <laughs> Your testimony. Did you see her dancing? Yes. Is the mom nearby? So which, which ear is the one you couldn't hear with? This one. Okay, can you close this one? Say, Jesus. Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Somebody give the Lord a prayer. Hallelujah. We give you all the praise. You are worthy, Lord, of our praise. You are worthy, Lord, of our praise. You are worthy, Lord, of our prayer. Oh, Lord, thank you. Oh, Lord, thank you. Oh, Lord, thank you. Oh, Lord, thank you. And we say thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. 
Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. Oh, Lord. That's your baby. And you are aware of the ear condition? Yes. For how long? Just two weeks ago, sir. Couldn't hear me that ear again. Suddenly. Wow. God healed the ear and now heal the eye also. In the name of Jesus, I declare clarity of sight without these glasses forever. In Jesus' precious name. How bad was the sight? Baby, look at me. Do what I do. Do it. Do like I do. I just for the things that, that you have done, the battles, the battles you have won, only you, only you, only you have we magnify. For the things, for the things that, that you have done, the battles you have won, we magnify your name. 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 If I take just one more or so, that will come true. We have to close here in the next 15 minutes. Yes, Meningioma just got healed. Wow. She's going to go back to the hospital and get her doctors to give her a medical report. But she came in here with all the symptoms, the signs, the headache, the blurring of vision, everything. Look at her dancing. She's so excited. Everything disappeared while that intense worship atmosphere was on. She just stepped out, healed of meningioma. Incredible. 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 That's right. Meningioma. Malignancy involving the meninges of the brain. Father, thank you for dealing with this cancer and taking it back to hell. Jesus, name, leave and fulfill your days. Gladys. Gladys. Has had cancer She's of talking. the bone marrow that has lasted for nine solid years. And, and she also came into the service with growth on both breasts. According to her, the moment you mentioned that growths are disappearing, she said the growth disappeared. Oh my God. She came in with severe pain. From cancer of the bone marrow. Yes, sir. And she said the pains are gone. Now she's totally free. Just a moment. Say it again. Myeloma. Myeloma. Multiple myeloma. Right? Cancer of the bone marrow. That's right. And I had chemo yesterday. I was supposed to take chemo today. And I told my doctor, no, I'm going to a healing ministry. Wow. Yeah. God cleared out the two breast lumps just to confirm to her yeah. that the life-threatening bone marrow cancer is gone. Can you stand on your feet? And celebrate the King of Kings. Celebrate the King of Kings. Clap your hands, all ye people. Shout to the Lord with a voice of triumph. Woo! This is the second case of cancer. Just now, meningioma. And right now, we are dealing with myeloma. For nine years, chemotherapy yesterday, lump just disappeared. And now, myeloma is gone. You are going to go back. And let them do all the blood works and the bone marrow aspiration biopsies and all of that and confirm that you are healed and you are whole. Give the Lord a celebration. We go to hell. Hail your name. Day by day. Say your In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We lie. All the way. All the way. We go to hey, 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 your name, 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 day by day, 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 all the way, all the way.
all the way, all the way, all the way. clap and a loud shout of praise. Father, thank you for this moment. We worship and honor you. In Jesus' name. Take your seat one minute. Tonight is rehearsal. Dress rehearsal for what will be happening from the midnight. I want to say one word to you and you will go with it. Subject is the glory of his presence. That is the theme of this conference and I have 11 minutes to, for us to close from here tonight. So I'll use 10 minutes out of that 11 minutes. Exodus chapter 33, verse 14, all the way to verse 15. This is the glory of his presence, part one. Am I expecting to see the scriptures on the screen? Exodus 33, am I expecting? All right. And he said, my presence shall go with thee, and I will give thee rest. And he said unto him, if thy presence go not with me, carry us not up hence. For wherein shall it be known here, that I and thy people have found grace in thy sight? Is it not in that thou goest with us? So shall we be separated, I and thy people, from all the people that are upon the face of the earth. The subject is the glory of his presence. And our objective is understanding the weight or the impact of God's presence. What glory does the presence of God carry? What weight does the presence of God carry? What impact? does the presence of God carry? When I encounter God's presence, just like we've been experiencing tonight, and all our music ministers we had just a minimal time because of how much time. Tomorrow, we are here till about 1 a.m. And so, we will be having very intense time in God's presence. But what does that presence carry? Listen to this. The presence of God is the most valuable asset of mortal man. Is the most valuable. Is the most valuable asset of mortal man. It is possible for somebody to brag or boast about their house. To brag or boast about their car. About their profession. But the most valuable asset of mortal man. Is the glory of God. The presence of God. Is the presence of God. That presence of God. Is behind the making. Of notable people in scripture. And I'll give you a few examples of them. And then we'll, be, we'll have it as an introduction. And proceed tonight. Behind notable personalities in scripture. One. Abraham. Abraham encountered God. And he changed the entire course of his life. Somebody here tonight, your encounter with God in this season is going to change the course of your life. You believe that, shout the Lord and say, Amen. He changed the entire course of his life in Genesis chapter 12, verse 1, all the way to verse 5. Number two, Jacob. Jacob encountered God multiple times. First at Bethel, in Genesis chapter 28, from verse 12 all the way to verse 18, he encountered God in Bethel. Then he encountered God in Peniel, in Genesis 32, from verse 24 to verse 28. 
He encountered God multiple times. And that turned Jacob into what he became and what he represents as Israel on the earth today. There can be no Israel. There can be no Jacob. There could have been no Jacob without the presence of God. Example number three, Joseph. Joseph maintained the presence of God. In Genesis chapter 39 verse 2 and Genesis chapter 39 verse 21 the Lord was with Joseph. He was in adversity but he maintained the presence of God. The presence of God in the, in the life of Joseph made him not only to survive adversity he made him to excel out of adversity. I don't know who God sent me to in this glory conference in this season. But I don't know the situation you are in right now. Out of this situation, the presence of God is causing you to come out and stand out. You believers shout the loudest, amen. Example number four, Gideon. Gideon's life took a turn for the best. After his historic encounter, with the heavenly, when he heard the phrase, go in this thy might. In Judges chapter 6, from verse 3, from verse 8 all the way to verse 14. Gideon, Gideon, Gideon became, his life took a turn when he encountered the presence of God. Example number 5, Moses. Moses, Moses' defining moment. In life and destiny happened at the burning bush. The defining moment for Moses came at the, at the presence of God at the burning bush. Where Moses literally stepped into destiny. I am anointed to announce that somebody, you are at your defining moment right now. The moment you are in right here, don't play with it. Don't just play with this season. Something is about to be defined in your life that will mark you for the rest of your life. You believe God is speaking to you. Shout the loudest amen. Shout the Lord most amen. Example number six, Isaiah. Isaiah thought he had a call. And he actually had a call. Until he encountered God. And God's presence in Isaiah chapter six. From verse one all the way to verse ten. At that junction of his life. Isaiah's call into ministry was reconfirmed and redirected. Say it like this. It was reconfirmed and clarified. He was in ministry whereas God was waiting to give him matching orders. He was already doing things without hearing precisely what to do. And when he encountered the presence of God, everything got clarified. I am here to speak to somebody. Maybe you are in a season of confusion and you need clarification for your life. In this season of the glory conference, that clarity is coming your way. You believe it? Shout the loudest amen. What of Peter? In the book of Luke chapter 5. And in verse 1 all the way to verse 10. Peter toiled all night, he caught nothing. But the presence and the encounter with Jesus did two things in the life of Peter. Number one, he gave him breakthrough in his, in his, in, in, in his current, then current vocation. Breakthrough. And then number two, he shifted him to a higher level of calling. I am now making you a fisher of men, not just a fisherman. That is, there are people here today. God is not just going to cause you to succeed in what you are doing now. He's going to shift your life and your calling and your destiny to a higher plane by this encounter. You believe it, shout the loudest, amen. And finally, Paul the Apostle encountered the presence of, of God on the way to Damascus in Acts of the Apostles chapter 9 from verse 1 all the way to verse 12. That changed the whole life of Paul. He was Saul of Tarsus. He became Paul the Apostle. There are people here tonight. God is going to change your name. He's going to change your name. 
Will you stand up on your feet and shout the loudest amen? I need you to within the next one minute, within the next one minute, speak to God. Don't be in a hurry to step out of here. Within the next one minute, Father, encounter me like you encounter Abraham, like you encounter Jacob, like you encounter Joseph, like you encounter Saul of Tarsus, like you encounter the people of old. I need an encounter. Would you lift your hands and say, Father, Say it louder. I, I, do, do I have something on the, on the microphone? Say, Father, I need a life transforming, a life changing, a life changing, a destiny shaping, destiny shaping encounter, tonight encounter tonight that will alter, that will the, alter course of my life. the course of my life. Oh Lord, oh Lord. in the name of Jesus, in, name of in Jesus. this season, in this change, change my story. Open your mouth and pray. Pray, 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 pray. <laughs> Life transforming. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Lift your hands everywhere you are tonight. I am aware that the first thing that will happen to someone here tonight is a life completely surrendered to Jesus. If you are not done that yet, now this is just the shadow of the message again. In the morning, what's the time for the morning session? 9 a.m. 9 a.m. in the morning session. Tonight, we are here from 11.30, our time. Is that right? Yes, 11.30. Which is 12. The same time. 11 oh, we are, we are on the same time, Flame. All right. So 11.30, we're on the same time right now. So 11.30, we are commanding the day and commanding the whole of the United Kingdom to line up with the purpose of God for our lives and commanding our destinies to line up with the purpose of God. 11.30 tonight. So ensure that you are there. But tomorrow 9 a.m. But tomorrow night, when we start by 6 p.m., 6 p.m. We, continue to, we continue until we enter commanding the day and finish commanding the day and then... Hey! It's going to be very, very, very brutal against the kingdom of darkness. Inform all your friends, those who didn't come here tonight, you can see how jammed this place is. Ensure you are here on time tomorrow and be a part of what God is doing. Lift up your hands where you are right now. Everywhere you are in need of surrender to Jesus, in need of forgiveness for your sins. And you are saying, Pastor, pray for me. I want to be saved. Pray this prayer after me and say, Lord Jesus. Say it louder. Lord Jesus, I am a sinner in need of your help. Come into my life. Make me a new person. Today, I have decided to follow you, Lord. No turning back. Forward ever, backward never. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Those who pray that prayer, wave your hand. Let me see. I see. I, I heard. Wave it, wave it, wave it. Pastors, what do we do? Wave your hands. Let's see. I don't want one person to be lost here tonight. Wave your hand. Let me see you. What do we do? Please, you can just. The steward there, let, 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 let's see their hand. Lift it high up, let them see you. Please, everywhere you are, just move and direct to that exit there. And our people will speak with you shortly. Just pick your Bibles and your bags and they will meet with you right there and speak with you. I need to pray for you and pray on your names. Yes, I see the people up there. If there is a way in which they can. How do they do it? There are so many people up there. Maybe one of, some of the counselors can go just go meet them there. All right, the counselors up there, please. Please keep your hand up. Now, if we came here, people are healed and blind, so and all of that, and nobody is saved, that was a waste of complete waste. So ensure that, ensure that tonight you don't go until your name has been taken note of. Can you lift up your hand? Those who pray that prayer again. All right, counselors are on all the blocks. Lift your hands high up and they are going to pray with you. Our time is literally up. Just lift the hands high up. Counselors, please give them the forms and let them fill it. While this is going on, everyone 
That's right. They are, they are going all the way to meet the counselors up there. God bless you. God bless you. Please meet them right there. And those on the, on the various levels, counselors, please attend to them. All right. We have a code also to scan in, in, uh, wherein we can also get your details right there. That code is right on the screen. Somebody say aloud, loud, amen. Can you now lift your hands for a final time and say after me, say, Father. Say after me, say, Father. In the name of Jesus, I receive your help, your mercy, your intervention for my life tonight. Now, something is going to happen overnight tonight. There will be multiple divine visitations. Multiple divine visitations. Multiple divine revelations. Multiple divine encounters. If you are saying amen, say it louder, amen. Now lift your hands for a final time and say, when I say in the name of Jesus, you scream, I receive, and place your hands on yourself and receive your visitation and your encounter. Father, let it be. Multiply divine visitations. Multiply divine encounters. Let it happen to everyone here. In the name of Jesus, I receive. Receive, receive, receive. Open your mouth and pray. Receive, receive. Pray, 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 pray. Mighty name we pray. Amen. Somebody say the loudest, Amen. Amen. You strongly believe that you are returning back with your testimony. Shout the loudest, Amen. Amen. Again, uh, like we heard God's servant and Father in the Lord said, uh, please ensure you write your name. Counselors, get everybody's name. Uh, our Father in the Lord will be praying for everybody. So ensure you do that. And I tell you, your life will never remain the same. If you came with an offering, please quickly package that offering as we honor the Lord tonight before we go. You have an offering to honor God with. Go ahead and, and package that offering as we honor the Lord this evening. We have just